All right. Charlie and everybody, I hope you're, you're all doing well. Got Joe on the line. Joe. Charlie and Lex. Charlie and everyone. Charlie and Joe. Hope you're doing good, brother. Thank you. A little bit louder. Ready to start? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. This is going to be a continuation from uh, Numbers chapter uh, 14. Take away, Joe. All right. So I'm going to pick, pick up real quick in Genesis 10. Uh, now, these are the generations of the son of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and, and Teraz. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rephaph, Tagama, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, uh, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodaim. By uh, these were the isles of the Gentiles, the, uh, divided in their land. Everyone after his tongue, after their families and their nation. All right. So from what we learned in the last video, the information showed that there is an empire called Ma Japhet or Ma Japhet. And when we read about it, it, the information told us that's exactly what it is. It's Japheth's name. So as we read here in the scriptures that they went and lived by their lot. They were given the Isles of the Sea. And we clearly see they are called the Gentile. When we look at this word, right, it's a flight of locusts at the bottom. Here we have the same as uh, Geva, which is the back, or that is only by extension of the person, the body. So you see right here, the back of the body. What is the back of the body? It's it's the rear, right? The rear is also called the ass. On the back of the body, you get the gluteus maximus, which contains the butt. You can see where this is going, right? So again, when we're arguing all this stuff about who is uh, dealing with Sodom and Gomorrah and stuff, we will see uh, all they did was went and they took over the Gentile stuff, and then they took that shit out of hand. Same thing is happening in this nation. Now, the Gentile, as it says here, we know they, are, they became the Hellens or the heathen. So the Gentiles, it says, right, has considered the backside, right, the rear, a foreign nation, hence a Gentile, also figuratively a troop of animals. Or a flight of of locusts, Gentile, heathen, nation, people. Now, out of the heathen nation, we got the 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 typewriter soup, right? The the the, the, the that misuses the uh, the rainbow reflection off of the firmament, right? So, um, you go back over here. When the, what are these isles of the sea that they are talking about? And again, <clears throat> when we see this Majafet Empire, it's, it's showing us what they took from the heathen. And now we're going to go a little bit further. Go ahead and uh, we, uh, Joe, Joe brought, brought this forward. Go ahead and... Uh, all right, so uh, notice they were forced out of the island of Java in Southeast Asia. They found the pygmy the Grito people were already there. Much later, the Majapet Empire arose in Malaysia and Indonesia. The name, uh, the name the Japhet quite possibly derives from Japheth or Javan uh, from Cyprus. And from Cyprus and southern Anatolia, the Polynesians migrated further into Asia, Shugs, 
culture of the now famous islands, uh, civilizations of Polynesian mentions a certain uh, per Percy Smith, a New Zealand research, researcher who in 1904 uh, postulated that the Polynesians originated in Asia in the land of Atia T. Varinga Nu Nu. This was where this was where there was a stone temple place, a uh, palace of King Tuti Ringi Mara Marama, where he reigned. After infighting and quarreling, the Polynesians were forced out of Java and eventually migrated into the islands of the Pacific, keep the land of Atia in mind for we shall be uh, returning to investigate it shortly. So that's that mysterious land, Hawaii Aki, right? And you hear these knuckleheads always saying Hawaii, right? Hawaii Aki. Iki, Hawa Iki. Hawa is destruction to our word or our language. Ruin. <laughs> right? So, again, <laughs> then this guy, oh, really gets you to say fucking Polynesian words. There, there's, there's your king drop, right? <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh boy, it's funny what, you, what happens when you sit there and study. Hey, all right. Um, of the sons in Genesis, so continuing from six, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Sheba, and Havilah, and Sebta, and Ramah, and Septica, uh, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dan. And Cush begot Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Most High, wherefore it is said even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Most High. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna, and the land of Shinar. Um, out of that land went forth Ashur and builded Nineveh, the, the city of Rehoboth and Kalah. So you can take the context of that and see that his kingdom wasn't in his land. It was in another land. Right, right. right. So, hey, see, this is, so, so we're getting two two teams, okay? We got we done red team Jephthah. Now this is team Ham, right? And now here's Ham's initial brothers, right? So... This is exciting you now that, I mean, again, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't read this so many times, like over the years. Now we have an opportunity to, to stitch the story uh, closer to how it is supposed to be said. Let's go a little bit further. All right. And, and, out, of that, and out of that land went forth Asher and built it Nineveh, the city, and the city Rehoboth and uh, Kalah. And resin between Nineveh and Kala, the same as a great city. Okay. And Mizraim begot. Hold on one second. Now, Genesis uh, 10, verse 11 is very important because we in the middle of getting Ham's genealogy and it has been interrupted. Mm -hmm. To give you the details and the context to understand that. When it, when it was given it the, the background on Nimrod, he built his great city in Ashur's city. So, and builded Nineveh and the city of Rehoboth in Kalna. Now, we can see on the land of Shinar. Now, if we're right, uh, Shinar is China, and Sinology is the study of Chinese people. 
Then they all in the east. And here you have the son of Shem in the east as well. Because he went out of that land. Go ahead. Or, mm -hmm. wait, 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 out of that yeah. land went Asher. So Asher is going into the land, not necessarily out of the land. How is that? Why is that written that way? Yeah, that's an interesting way to write that. See, again, man, some take it in the latter sense and some take it in it. Okay, so it, it, it's written to be confusing, huh? I would suppose there's all's ones. And um, in Mizraim, we got Ludin and, and Amin and Lahabim and Naphtuhim and Pathusim and Kasluhim, of whom came the Philistines. In uh, the Cathor, and Canaan begat Sidon and his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gert, and the Girgashite, and the Havite, and the Ar and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arva, and the Arvadite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite, and afterward, where the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the uh, border of the, the Canaanites was from Sidon, and as thou cometh unto Gerar, unto Gaza, and as thou goeth unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, even unto Lasha, these are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, and their countries, and in their nations. Right, real quick, I'm going to take a little... Those troll off the side edge. And, and we always uh, want to poke fun at the thief because he stole the material. He didn't do any work. Right? And now he's passing the material on to other people. And then they're, they're making videos, you know, not doing any work, you know, and, and commercializing it. Right? So they're all just, but they're, they're, they're all part of an agenda. So here you go. Hawaii. Hawaii. Right, and then again, what did he teach them to say? You say Hawa, so the the computer is very confused. If you type in Hawa Hebrew, it's going to tell you it's Chava. That's not what they said. They said Hawa, not Chava, right? Which is from. That doesn't mean it is. It it is. It's from Hawa life. That's running around saying Hawa versus Hawa Ah. This is oh, and then oh, but that's 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 a one word versus a double word, a single word versus a double word. Now, when you scroll down, it say it's H one nine three three Hava, not Hawa. So it shouldn't even be pronounced as ha wa. It should be pronounced as ha va, like ha yeah. And then of course we have a problem. There are instructions, and we as a people do not want to follow instructions. If we go to Moses and the Most High, what shall we call you? What shall I tell the people? It says. You shall tell them, I am that I am. When we go to that statement, are we going to see H1933? Is that what we're going to see? You should call me, what did it say? The life? And what does it say? It's, what? The name is born in the Bible by the first woman. So, is this imbecile trying to tell them the Most High's name is woman?
or does what actually comes out of your mouth really count and what does what are they actually saying well in hebrew two y's make a w and you see one nine six two ha y'all is ruin calamity you see it says heya or ha y'all but the way they're pronouncing it is asking god look, look from h one nine four three to bring ruin and calamity what does the bible actually say about the end coming do not ask for it to come no matter what you're going through it's because you're not following the law look at what this guy's teaching people now look you go over here and you sit there and say, okay, it's in Exodus, and it's chapter 3, and it's verse 14. So I don't see why people are always saying Yahweh and stuff. See, this is the thing. When the rappers rap, they know, you, know, you ain't got many raps. They sit there and say, Yah and Yahweh. Most of these rappers got enough to sense it. And again, here in uh, Exodus 3 and 14. I am that I am, H1961 is what is there over and over again. See, two times, this is why we say, Haya, Haya. Again, the strongest, strongest concordance will tell you that the word that and I do not translate in this sentence. All right, and before we get started, I just want uh, everybody to see when you type in Shinar and China into the search, uh, comes back uh, the Chinese on the plane of Shinar is the first thing that comes back. So, Shinar, or after the dispersion, when this community broke into various tribes and scattered over the face of the earth and colonized. So, you know, again, now you can see a lot of different sites. Say, you know, ask yourself, when have you ever seen anybody, anything saying China, China, Chinese, Chinese, plain as are over and over again? So, you know, we're on the right trail, the correct path. Um, now we're going to, we're going to read this and Joe's going to highlight, uh, We're going to go over to, is that in chapter 7 or chapter 10 that you were talking about a minute chapter ago? Chapter 7. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to start, start with 30. Yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, and Nimrod became strong when he put on the garments, and and Mosai gave him might and strength, and he was a mighty hunter in the earth, yay. He was a mighty hunter in the field, and he hunted the animals, and he built altars, and he offered upon them the animals before the Most High. And Nimrod strengthened himself and rose up from amongst his brethren, and he fought the battles of his brethren against all the enemies round about. And the Most High delivered all the enemies of his brethren in his hands. And the Most High proposed him. Prepared him for from time to time in his battles. Uh, Prosper. And he ran. Sorry about that. Prosper. Prosperity. Yeah. And he reigned upon. And he reigned upon her. Therefore, he became current in those. Therefore, it became current in those days when a man ushered forth those that had. That he had trained up for, for battle, he would say to them, like the Most High did to Nimrod, who has a mighty hunter, and who, like the Most High did to Nimrod, who was a mighty hunter, 
in the earth and who succeeded in the battles that prevailed against his brethren that he delivered them from the hands of their enemies so may the most high strengthen us and deliver us this day and when nimrod was 40 years old at that time there was a war between his brethren and the children of Japheth, so that they were in power of their enemies and nimrod went forth at that time and he assembled all the sons of cush and their families about 460 men and he hired also from some of his friends and acquaintances about 80 men and he gave them their hire and he went with them to battle and when he was on the road nimrod strengthened the heart of the people that went with him and he said to them do not fear neither be alarmed for all our enemies will be delivered into our hands and you may do with them as you please and all the men that went were about 500 and they fought against their enemies and they destroyed them and subdued them and nimrod placed standing officers over them in their respective places and he took some of their children and security and they all were servants to nimrod and to his brethren and nimrod and all the people that were with him turned homeward and when nimrod had joyfully returned from battle after having conquered his enemies all his brethren together with those who knew him before assembled to make him king over them and they placed a regal crown upon his head and when and he set over his subjects and peoples princes judges and rulers as is common amongst kings and when and he placed uh, Terah, the son of Nahor, the prince of his host, and he delegated him, I mean, he, he dignified him and elevated him above all his princes. And whilst he w was reigning according to his heart's desire, after having conquered all his enemies around, uh, he devised, and he advised with his counselors to build a city for his palace, and they did so. And and they found a valley opposite then they found a large valley <clears throat> opposite to the east and they built him a large extensive city and nimrod called the name of the city that he built shine on for the most i had uh vehemently shaken his enemies and destroyed them there we have it and so each time it says the enemies, we really need to understand he's fighting the children of Japheth. So all you gotta do is each time they cushion their families and they went forth to do battle against the children of Japheth. And then understand that Nimrod is not a Kushite, he is his own like nation. So he got his brother. People gotta understand that. Like, so when you understand these people work together, they, we don't, we oppress. <laughs> like, these people know who they are and they, and when they got problems going on, they go and they, they unite as one. So that's it. America, individuality, right? There's no unity here. No unity. Dot com. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I hope people see it. I hope people see it. You gotta unite and just under, you know, under something. Everybody else is. You see what's coming. They're <laughs> gonna play a game of categories real quick. You be scared, just like what, just like the past. They've been scattered. We were scattered. Here they got their ass handed to them. Nimrod put on the garments and just put foot to ass. He didn't kick rocks, he kicked people out of their home. He took their shit. That is what we're looking at. Is the, the, they, they, what do you want to name this place? The shit I took from Japheth, Ma Japheth. You know, you, you got to understand what's going on with all this. Uh, you want to go to the next one? 
um, person on team. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I did want to say in 43, though, it did say they found a large valley opposite to the east. And mm -hmm. they built shine on. Right on. So, um, 10, 10. Let's start from the top. In Peleg, the son of Eber died in those days in the fortieth in the forty eighth year of his of the life of Abraham, son of Terah, and all the days of Peleg were two hundred and thirty uh thirty nine years. And when the Most High has scattered the sons of men on the account of their sins at the tower, behold, uh, behold they they spread forth into many divisions, and all the sons of men were dispersed into the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> and all the families became each became each according to its language, its land, or, or its city. And the sons of men built cities according to their families in the places where they went and throughout the earth where the Most High has scattered them. And some of them built cities and places from which they were afterward uh, extirpated, and they called these cities after their own names or the names of their children or after their particular occurrences. And the sons of Japheth, and the sons of Japheth, the son of Noah, went and Built themselves cities in the place, in the places where they were scattered. Oh shit! And they, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. You know what extirpated means? It means rooted out and destroyed completely. Yeah, go re reread five, would you? All right. And the sons of them built cities in the places from which they were afterward extirpated. Rooted and out called. and destroyed. <laughs> and they called these cities right, after their own names. Machapit. <laughs> hmm? And after the names of the children, and after the names of their forefathers, huh? Java. East Java. Part of the Majapit Empire. That's Majapit now. Huh? Majapit Empire. The first thing that comes, martial arts planet. Japheth and Ham, Noah's sons, and martial arts in the old world. Japheth's name under Majapheth is associated with affirmed historical forms of Salat still in existence today. Everybody, we are, the, listen, we are the last ones to know. The Timurid Empire and contemporary Asian policies Timur conquered large parts of blah, 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 blah. Joe got us the creation wiki. We show, and, we, and this story is written all over that, right? World repopulation after the flood. And they know Majapit Empire. There it is right there. With Japheth, right? 10, 2 through 5. And they, everybody, all these people know this. This is being hidden from us because we're the Americans. Hmm? All this is being hidden from us. It's right here in our face. Japheth Javan Majapith Empire, right there. 1093 AD, right? That's after death. 
after the death of their false god, after the death this. of the mocker. Go ahead. I'm just letting people know that's so that means common error for the people who just can't who, who be just confused off that. It just mean common error. That's probably the date they took that shit. Here's say Jepeth and Tires. They know he's you know exactly that's the same shit we read in the creation wiki. Telling us that the Maori is Jepheth. I, I messed up in the last video. I messed up many times saying that the, the Maori are Canaanites. The Maori are not Canaanites. It said that they, they, they are Japheth. Ma Japheth Empire was a Hindu empire based near Trolan, Mulan, Trolan, right? In East Java, Javan. Javon, right? Mm -hmm. we, we go to fucking uh, 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 the, the, the islands, right? We go to the Marshall Islands where they set off nuclear bombs on these people. Nuclear tests on these fucking people. They interview that Caucasian. She says, I don't care. I, I have these front property. What she say for real? I don't care. I have my fucking home back. See, we fail to understand these Freemasons all got a different horseshoe in the game. None of them have the same agenda, organization wise. The more we read these, the more they go start kicking out the other names. These are the sons that stayed or were defeated. And what did it say? He put what? His soldiers over them? Go go back to, let's see, four and seven. Yeah, it was the captains of their respective office. Now, that means what? You were ruling over them. If you want to F through them, F through them. If you want to leave them be, leave them be. Now, speaking of which, in the same area, let me get the Maja at map back up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Even over here, you got the what? The Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea. Right? I'm reading about the Akasha tree. The Akasha tree is all over South. East China and the one without thorns, 70 varieties of the acacia tree grow in Australia. Yes, it also grows in Africa, but there's no Java in Africa. There's no land that Japheth lost in Africa. They went opposite this to the plain of Shinar. And we're going to show you maps. This There's a big mass of land that used to be right here in, in what they call the Philippine Sea. It used to be called Ayapan. It existed the same time these people's all worn. It sank. You know, it's crazy. Uh, conveniently, recently, they said, I'm sure some people may be aware of it, Japan just discovered 7,000 more islands. I don't know how you could misplace 7,000 more islands unless they just wasn't there and they just started rising up or appearing. Well, that that could be the issue right there. Um, it's very, it's, it's, it, when we sit there and we're going to roll some dice and we say, logically, it could be one of these things, right? There's always one or two things. and then. Of course, outside of logic leaves a third thing. Now, if the plates are like that Chinese game where you got the knobs on the side and as you turn the plates, it turns the corners like this, 
Now that would make sense. That would mean something dropped here and there was problems here and something rose on that side, which would make the peaks of what used to be above water now um, peak out the mountain peaks, and which would be now islands. Now, what also could be is how could all these different, see, no nation said, okay, we went into the Japanese territory and we have uh, verified this. All these, we don't have war with Japan. We didn't see these 7,000 islands when we were passing them. So either they're all in it together and they're just lying. They always knew these islands existed and this is where they hid the giants and hid the giant things and the things that go bumping on, who knows. Or, you know, they have just submerged. Now, if it's not one of those things, it's something that just, it's unlogical, illogical. And those things also happen. So, you know, I, me, I I couldn't tell you left from right with the situation because uh, I'm in Ohio and I've only traveled, you know, within the landmass. I haven't gone uh, overseas besides, you know, Mexico, besides, you know. So, so I can't tell you what's out there. I mean, the viewer, you know, I can't tell you uh, if they're lying because I'm not part of their uh, their spiel. I'm on the outside, like everybody else. So, in six, um, we're gonna recap six real quick. And the sons of Japheth, the sons of Noah, went and built themselves cities into places where they were scattered and they called all their cities after their names and after the sons of Japheth um, realized they said they were scattered and then earlier, four verses earlier and two, it said that all of the sons of men were scattered. So they understand these people also played a role in the Tower of Babel. So it's safe to say this, the Tower of Babel is exactly where they said, somewhere in the east, uh, as Joe brought up in 43, right, it said, he was 42, he was reigning to his heart's desire after conquering all his enemies, so that's still going to just be the children of Japheth. He advised his counselors to build a city for his palace, and they did so. And they found a large valley opposite to the east. So, technically, what's opposite to the east? If they're in the damn coastline, fighting these wars out here at sea, and then to the east is going to be... Well, opposite to the east would be back to the west, which would be some presumably somewhere on mainland, since they just took Java, East Java. They took Indonesia. They took all this shit from Japheth. Surprising, Japheth name ain't writ written all over this shit. But again, this is how I see it. Other people might see it differently. And like, like, like Joe has pointed out, each time the word scattered, like he said, they scattered here for the tower, and then they scattered here because they are, in, in verse 6, because they are the enemies of Nimrod's brothers. Now, What's going to happen here is they're going to tell you, now the author of the book of Jashir is going to tell you where they were scattered to. You ready to keep reading? All right. And these are the sons of Jashir, according to their families, Gomer, Magog, Medai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Terahs. And these are the children of Japheth according to their generations. Okay, hold on. One second. Children... So then we go then we're gonna take what we just learned, and then they were scattered from the isles of the sea. And now these are their new homes. 
Go ahead, sir. All right. And then the children of Goma, according to their cities, were the Frankum, who dwell in the land of Franza, by the river Franza, by the land, in the land of Franza, by the river Franza, um, by the river Sina. And the children of Raphath are the, Bur the Bertona, who dwell in the land of Bretonia, by the river Lada, which empties in its waters into the great sea Gaihon, that is Oceanus, and the children of Tagama. Oh, cool. Hold on are, a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm probably not going to do this too much, but pay attention. Oceanus is considered. Now, if we take Oceanus, they going to say it's one of two places. Where's the map of uh, South? They're going to say it's this sea out here, and they're going to say it's this sea out here. It just depends on which type of Oceanus you type in, but it, it basically says it's the, the Indian Sea. Right? Oceanus was the eldest of the, ti the Titan offspring of the sky Uranus. All right? So that's what they're going to, right? Oceanus, and we're going to type in C, right? And, I don't want to tell us what it is. All right. However, as geography became more accurate, Oceanus came to represent the stranger, more unknown waters of the Atlantic. So they moved the term, the definition of the term. If we say map, are they going to tell us the truth? So now Oceanus is the Atlantic. Now, as you see this map right here, the area circled is between China and America. That's Oceanus. The sea, we call that the Pacific between South, or excuse me, East uh, Asia and West of the Americas in the Northern Hemisphere, that is Oceanus. When I go, everybody has to understand, just like clothes change, meanings change. You're in the era of they change in the meaning of man and woman, right? So here's another map shows you it's in the Atlantic, but it's clearly not. Once Japheth moved, he carried all his shit with him. So it's the sea, the unknown sea is always called the Oceanus. So when Japheth was in the islands, the isles, he was calling the ocean that was east of him Oceanus, because remember, then America was unknown. When Amer when Japheth moved, when he got kicked out of that land and scattered, he went into the, the regions as far as Europe, as we're reading now, and then the Atlantic became the unknown or the Oceanus. All right, uh, let's, let's, sorry, let's continue uh, with 10. Right. And the children of Tugama are ten families, and these are their names Bazar, Arzunak, Belgar, Eli Kenam, Ragbid, Tarki, Bid, Zibuk, Ongal, Tilma, Tilmaz, and these spread and rested in the north and built themselves cities. And they called their cities after their own names. Those are they who abide by the rivers who fly in italic until this day. So but the, let me stop there. I'm sorry. So it says, it sits here, it says they went to the north, but we know that Italy is in the south. Oh. Now, again, when they say they went east, that matches with what we understand as east. But then again, I mean, you know, this is so what are, they went to the northern hemisphere, not necessarily 
nor. I presume because they name and they called their cities by their own names and it says right here by these rivers unless the italic river let's find out where the italic river is and make sure it's not in Italy because if it's in Italy then it's northern hemisphere but if it's it's in Russia or Siberia. It is, they call the Italic River. Nothing is called the Italic River today. They're just giving me rivers of Italy. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not. I'm just. We're gonna go. I'm not gonna do that no more because I don't want to do this with each name. Go ahead, man. Sorry. But the families of Angoli, Belzar, and Parzanac, they dwell by the great river Dugni, and the names of their cities are also according to their own names. And the and the children of Javan or the Javani, who dwell in the land of Macedonia, and the children of um, Madai are the Orlam that dwell in the land of uh, Kershaw. And the children of Tubal are those who dwell in the land of uh, Turkna, Turkin, Turk, Tuscan, Tus, Tuscana, um, by the by the river Pisia. <laughs> That's and the children. It's funny. So we, we know Tuscana is Tuscany, uh, and then uh, you know, Medier, it reminds me of Medicare, and then Orlim, it reminds me of uh, the Baltimore or Orioles, and then they're from the land of curse. <laughs> it's, it's all right there for us. Eh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. And then you got Macedonia, that's Macedonia. That's, yeah, yeah, and then we know they got kicked off the land, right, and then they moved and they and became Macedonia. So that's Macedon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Macedonia, Majafet, everything at the end. Yeah, that's a full circle right there. And the children of Meshach are the Shabashi, and the children of Tiraj are the Rushash. Kushini and all the own babies. All these were um, went and built themselves cities. Those are the the cities that are situated uh, that are situated by the sea by the sea Jebus, by the river Cura, which empties itself into the river Trajan. Okay, hold on one second. So <clears throat> we know Macedonia. Macedonia is Macedonia. Macedonia is in Greece. We know that Tus, uh, Tuscany is Tubal. That's the women of Sabine. So that's Italy. That's the rape of the Sabines. Uh, the Shabashni uh, are arguable. The Tires, we learned, are stayed in the islands, just like Elish. And then we get to the Cura River. Now that I've looked up before, and the Cura River is, although it's spelled with a C there, it's going to be a K here, and, it's, and then that is in the Caucasus. All right, so that's a river between Armenia, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. Okay. <laughs> So we can see these people spread out very far from each other. So these the, 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 the sons of Tirash are the Rishash, that's Russia. Right. So these three are probably up into the north, we, uh, uh, northeast of the Caucasus Mountains. We see uh, Tubal is in Italy, and that, so that's that's uh west of the Caucasus, right macedonia is west of the it's all all of these are on the other side of the so let's get a map of uh europe real quick 
since I'm not the best on on the geography, right? Um. Uh, we can say old world. Oh no, they just give me old maps. Uh, this is see again. That's what I should. <laughs> so Eurasia map. Thanks. And go to images, and so and then we can start to see where they're going. You get a bigger map in the front. There we go. So here's the caucuses somewhere in here. And here's Georgia, Azerbaijan, and then you have the call Caspian Sea or the Black Sea. I don't know which one that is. And then you start to get these things in between here. Uh, so we can see they're staying out of Asia. It's interesting. They got they, they're like well, let us get as far away from them as possible, and we know that the Hamites were placed as captains over them. And then we started to see that they're called Indo-Europeans, right? And Indo stuff. You remember the definition of Indo? Oh, the etymology. Etymology. Thank you. Let me know if you get it up. Alright, um, word from <clears throat> word form and element meaning of or pertaining to India in some other place. Now, you huh. see the first, the basic bullshit one, Oxford languages, they don't even give you a website with this. They're, they're just, they say it's Greek Indos for Indian. Now, you see, it, uh, online etymology di dictionary will tell you it leads back to India. So, now you start to see this is how these cultures have the same worship but calling it two different names, right? What are they doing? Well, dear viewer, what are they, they're worshiping the gods. To them, who are the gods? It's it's the, the Titans, right? And, and the children versus the, the children. So you got to understand this Venus, what she is, is she's a Gregory. What is that? That's a watcher. And what the watchers do, the watchers fell. So they're worshiping the fallen, and the fallen had children. And what do they call those in the Bible? They call them giants. What do they call those in Greek mythology? They call it the watchers, right? The Titans. So literally, they are worshiping what the most high punished to them their great giant one of the titans was turned into the ocean to the most high he opened a valve and flooded the earth that's how stupid these people are To the Hindu, Yam was destroyed and he became the ocean. You got, you got to understand, they're twisted. They have twisted stories of the reality that actually happened. Most High is telling us, his servants, he did it all. When somebody looked powerful here, he, he, he gave him the power to do it. If the angels have power because they step into this realm, he gives them that power. If, if he takes that power away and they fall, but they get a different set of skills, he gave that to them. 
if he strips them of everything and they have to live a life as man, then they ha they're powerless. Remember what Batman says to Superman, even though it's just fictional. Do you bleed? Because if you fucking bleed, I'm going to fuck you up. If you bleed, that means there's a chance to kill. To us, these are Nephilim. To them, they're the gods. We're in the middle of, we're but grasshoppers to them, but we're going to whoop their ass. <clears throat> and this is what we have to comprehend. Our faith <laughs> needs to be in the most high. He's going to open up that pit. He's going to give his little lackey servant of the family of Lucifer the permission to use the keys to unlock his father and hell behind it. Better learn to read this book. Greatest book ever. <laughs> All right. Um, let me pause this real quick. All right, go ahead. All right. So I wanted to uh, point out some in the etymology of Indies, India. In, in adjacent regions and islands, 15, it's from the 1550s, plural of Indy, Indy Wait, from English. Which, which, which one you want? Etymology online? Yeah. Um, it says, yeah, I'm on the one that just says Indies, I-N-D-I-E-S. Got it. <coughs> Go ahead. All right. Um, the usual word in Middle English for India, from the old French um, form of Latin India, see India, uh, commonly applied to Asia and East in the East generally. Later in time of geographical confusion, it was applied to the Caribbean basin. It was dis distinguished from Asia proper by being called the West Indies. So I understand like the words that people uh, that we are associated with and these words that these farmers gave us to co 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 cause confusion. They name and stuff st after stuff that was already named. So when you go to use these common names and they're going to get you. But so far, especially, um, you know, when you're trying to uncover things in the past, if this if this name wasn't called this in the past, it's only gonna get you but so far back. So when you understand that you can you can, you can clear things up when you doing research and stuff. As it tells you this was applied to India and the adjacent regions and islands. And this is what Lex talking about. These is the Isles of the Gentiles. This is the the Gentile area called the India and Indies and Indians, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, we come from the land of the ice and so the meat you like remember, so those are one of the bow words that they called us. Called us these bow words, and just because people was cool with it, or that's what one of the bow words that they stripped us, the way they finessed us, they made treaties with us, and then called other people those same things and made the and gave them all the benefits. So that still was a bow word. It was something else that a foreigner gave us. That wasn't what we called ourselves, or that wasn't what we was going by. Mm, see, I asked. every time, every time they say in scripture that they conquered these people, they said they named the stuff after themselves. They did this after themselves and after their occurrences. So they even named places after it being destroyed. They named it destruction. Like people not comprehending this stuff. No, they, 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 they enjoy the fairy tale and worshiping Superman in, in his crypt. 
Yeah, this thing don't want to give me cashmere. Oh, no way. Oh, there's some sad script shit. Oh, 1749? What the fuck? I thought this was supposed to be from thousands of years ago. They just all liars. Baby, yeah. What a whole tooling hands. This is embarrassing. Formally spelled with a C. Right, the land of cash app. Cash app. Get the f out of here. Oh, there's no. Oh, anybody having white babies? Would, would Darkseid people having white babies? Oh, there's no. It should be back in your hands. From the land of cash. From cash app. Hey, you got cash app? Hey, yeah, get cash app. Send me the name of a renowned sage. Oh, shit, right? All this shit. This shit lead right to the Indies, right? The home of Japheth. And what that mean? That means Japheth used to live in India, and he got removed from the land by Ham. Hmm? And why did he? Call his mashed up food hamburger. Huh? <laughs> huh? Fucking think I'm crazy! I'm not! I, I can see clearly now. The fog is lifted. The veil is gone. It's gonna be a bright, 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 burning hot day when hell comes to earth. Because everybody's done, been fucking around. See, we can see right here the cashmere is etymology. Etymologically, it's from Sanskrit, but they what Sanskrit? Well, no, 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 1700s. They don't even bullshit it. According to folk etymology, the name Kashmir means des desiccated, desiccated land. What the fuck is desiccated mean? I see the word sick is the the root word. That does not look good. Desiccated. Having had moisture removed, dried out. Oh, no. Lacking vitality. I don't know. That's land, right? I mean, unless it's the land of the desiccated, I can understand they say it's the land of the desiccated because whatever happened, like, it it gave them uh uh oculocutaneous uh albinism you know but again they've been telling us this happened thousands of years ago this just fucking happened that's why these people go out and tan crazy because <laughs> they genetically they remember this man at bird if you if you hit a bird and and you know, a bird learns something in one state, all birds learn something. There 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 is something unique about that. They're arguing that humans have this too, right? Bob just goes over, never seen anybody play a piano, and says, oh, he starts hitting the right notes. Next time he plays, he can't play shit. But the one time, he was amazing. So the Casimir reason is means land desiccated from water. Oh, okay. How can the land be desiccated for from water? All right, if it, all right. The Kashpaya, which would be Kashmir, that's the original name. See, Yap right there is in Yapfest. How they would have pronounced it, and then remember Yapfest, 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 Japan, Japheth. They took that shit from Japheth, and then they call themselves after Japheth's names today. <laughs> oh shit! All right, just sit here and talk shit. It's all coming, right? Hamburger, right? Japheth, you know you keep you, you Kashmir, the north northwestern part of India subcontinent, is bounded by the. You, you, whatever, 
Uger? Oh, that's Wigger, but they they try to. You're not supposed to say Wigger. It's it's supposed to be Uger, but every time they pronounce it, they call it Wigger. Uh, all right. So isn't it funny? They have Wiggers in, in in the old world, and that's by name, but they spell it really funky. And then we have Wiggers in the new world, and that's people that right. They, they call them want to be want to be that nigga, right? So slang is some shit words words matter we just don't know how right here we have in their immigrant song right not a song what they're singing about we miss our homeland this is the song about why they're not in their new land not their homeland see their homeland is from india to the seas and that shit was taken from them and then their new land was the right march the march to the to the areas we just read about that's when they came into europe and then once they unified when they were in their new lands they overthrew europe and then here it come right here with their with the song we come from the land of ice and snow a land desiccated by water right from the midnight sun to the cold to the hot springs flow that's their new land where what the the land of ice and snow is in the north the, the midnight sun where the hot springs flow the hot springs flow up in the north they get uh they get ice uh uh uh, uh steaming on the river because they have hot springs coming up uh, from the center of the river which they can't control. That's just the nature of the area. You have to type in hot springs, uh, hot spring rivers. Uh, so the hammer of the gods will drive our ships to new lands. And what are they saying right there? The ha who do they consider the gods? See, we already know from our book, there is only one God. They consider the Titans their gods. Who are the Titans? Again, this is what? It's, it's, it's the, the fallen angels, the angels that was told to watch. Those are watchers. And then when they fell, they became these other titles, Grigori and Titans. And their children, I probably said this wrong earlier. And when they had children, right? Zeus is the child. Aphrodite is the child, right? When Zeus cut this Saturn and uh, the, his testicle sperm went in the sea and then this being was formed, all this bullshit. But Yam was a being and, and when he was destroyed, he became the water. All mythical representations of the actions the most high did in genesis 6 because of the actions that his sons his actual sons did in genesis 6. to fight the horde and sing and cry valhalla i'm coming home Valhalla is the place you go when you die. So it was the barbarians coming to fight the horde of what? Afro peoples and Mongols that came in the 1300s. At the same time, they was getting their ass handed to them. It was the same time this place was getting overturned. On our, on on we sweep with threshing or our only goal will be the western shore but <laughs> they told you they came from the east oh, man. go ahead man it <clears throat> And children of Elisha are the Almin, uh, and they also went and built themselves cities. Those are the cities situated between the mountains of Job and Shabbatma. And of them 
for the people of Lombardy who dwell opposite of the mountain of Job and Shabbatmo. And they conquered the land of Italia and remained there until this day. So it tell you where they came from. And then in the same sentence, it tell you where they went to. So they left the mountains of Job, where Job lived at the time, and then they came to Italy and, and, and conquered. So they got the ass handed to them, and then they went and they handed ass to somebody else. You still got the Lombardo people in Lombardo, Italy, until this day, just like you said. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the top United uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it, because it's the people that came up with the the if you go into the the, the history of Lombardo it tell you that they is the one that divide uh the de, de, devised the uh interest on money right and so their scheme is in play in, in in every country today again this is all about laws laws being created along the way right maritime laws water laws Right, I told you, the, the maritime people kicked off the ocean. <laughs> and now, we also know from reading that other piece that a portion of Alicia isn't with the Alemanni because we know the Alemanni is one of the, uh, the 10 barbarian tribes that came into Europe. So, some are on the islands, which are called today from this, it tells us, from the wiki creation of Alicia, it tells us they are the Maori, and, they, and then another group go by the Milyei, Milyei, and we'll get back to those in a bit. Let's keep going. And the children of Chittim are the Roman, who dwell in the valley of Can Canopia by the, the river Tiberi. So that mm -hmm. presumably would be the Latins, I would guess. But uh, that's just going to be a guess for right now. And now I'd say here they are, the Chittim. And we know they become the Roman or Rome or the Romans. Canopia is Campania. Canopia. Is uh, the same thing as Campania. It's the same thing as what? Campana? Um, uh, uh, Campania or uh, Campana? Let's see, uh, where is it? Learn how to spell valley. So then I can tell us we know this is somewhere uh I'm gonna guess uh guessing it ain't gonna be that healthy. We know Chittim starts on the island of Cyprus or uh and they move later to uh italy um nah, you know i'm not gonna do the whole big chase yet you know. <clears throat> all right you ready yeah i'm ready and the children of dorian are those who dwell in the cities of the sea Gion in the land of uh, Borden, Borden. So, Borden, these are the Bord, Borden is, uh, pretty sure Bord, Borden, <laughs> it's DNA, <laughs> Borden. Uh, no, they're not gonna give anything for Borden. I have a born. You gotta take the D out. And then put an I in Bornea and see it's a plant, Boronia, right?
think that um, it's also this place called Borneo in uh, India, like in the islands. Yeah. And you see it say Borneo is a plant of Australia. And remember, so here you have Borneo, Victoria, Australia. You have Borneo, the plant species. It's most endemic to Australia. Now again, when we sit here and we say this map of uh, South China Sea, wherever it went, there we go. Uh, you see Australia is right here. When we get to the root of where well, there's the, you know, South China Sea, they have a Bornea. Let me change, take the I out and put an A, an E in. All right, uh, you just saw that Borneo animal. Uh, where'd that go? Borneo. So I gotta take the A out and put an O in. So I wanna see what the, uh, what this said again. I had a Borneo. So you can see they, the, 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 the Israelites are pronouncing this with a D. And these people are not using the, the, the D. All right? So here you have the Bornean bearded pig, the Bornean gibbon, the Bornean bristol head, the Bornean orangutan, right? the Bornean flathead frog, the Bornean elephant. So I hope everybody can see what's going on, right? It is, again, it's spelled exactly how, it, right? N-E-A, just like it, they had before. It's D-N-A, but they leave the D out, and it's Bornea. Now, again, to get the people and all that shit, you have to add an O, and it's Borneo, Bornea, Borneo. And then here they have another Borneel. Right, and it's in, you know, same thing, you know, showing you that the vowels don't fucking matter. They, they just don't. It, they matter to the extent of who records them. You're dealing with Japheth's system, so if you mispronounce some things here and there, it will help you. But if you don't get it exact, it won't give you what you want. And that is the uniqueness of the legalese with everything. This is how they hide things from you. Here he says, Borneo is a giant, rugged island in Southeast Asia's Malay archipelago. So archipelago is a series of islands, right? So Borneo is the place where they, they literally have houses in the ocean. Their front yard is the water. When you sit there and you see the videos of Borneo, that's where they take you, uh, they take a camera and they take you under the water to hunt fish, right? That's where they tell you some of the people uh, can breathe underwater much longer than the average human. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's right here. Uh, Borneo is the main island that we were calling Indonesia yesterday. As you see here, this is the problem. The, 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 a lot of people have uh, a stake in this. So the whole area is called Indonesia, right? So, and then these would be the separate states within Indonesia. Okay, so Kalimantan, <laughs> Kalimantan. Oh, okay, like Cali from California. So, you know, why would that name be used over and over again in in history? All right. So, you know, East Cali and West Kalimantan, Borneo, Central Kalimantan, and then up here is North. And then they have Sabah, right? That's like Sabta. That's like those names we read, right? And then here's Sarah, 
Wach, 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 Sarawak, and then Bruni and Malaysia. Right? And, 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 and these, again, Sabah match Sabta, that's close to a biblical name that you know, we actually just read earlier. So, so I, I would encourage people to think about this when, you know, they want you to believe all the shits in the Middle East, which is just, you know, once you follow the words that are here, how could it be in the Middle East? All right, let's, you ready to finish? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell the children of Joseph according to their cities and their and languages uh, when they were scattered after the tower. And they called their cities after their names and their currencies. And these are the names of all their cities according to the families, to their families, which they built in their own days, in, the, in those days after the tower. Man, could you imagine we started from the beginning and fucking found the tower and shit? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's when the first tower is brought up anyway, but no, 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 it's the story's prior to this, my bad. It's after, yeah, my bad, my bad. All right. Go ahead, Joe. We're starting in Genesis or? Um, uh, verse, uh, just here, 10 and 30. 30. Yeah. 30, okay. And the sun's... And some of the children of Shem, the sons of Noah, father of all the children of Ebra, also went and built themselves cities and places wherein they were scattered, and they called their cities after their names. And the sons of Shem were Elam, Asher, Akhtoshad, Lud, Aram, and they um, built themselves cities and called them, called the names of their cities after their names. Okay, Asher. Sorry. Yeah, so they seem to be there, but this is where it gets unique. One of the sons of Shem go away. Now, go ahead. Okay, and Asher, son of Shem, and his children and household went forth at that time. Went uh, went forth at that time. A very large body of them and they went to a distant land that they found and they met with a, a very extensive valley in the land that they went to and they built themselves four cities and they called them at their their own names and occurrences All right, so and these are god and these are the names of the cities with the children of asher built nineveh resin Kalma, or Araho Bolter, and the children of Asher dwelt there unto this day. And the children of Aram also went and built themselves a city, and they called the name of the city Uz after the eldest brother. And they dwelt therein, that is the land of Uz to this day. And the children, I mean, and in the second year after the tower, a man from the house of Asher, whose name was Bella, went from the land of Nineveh to sojourn with his household, whither he could find, wherever he could find a place. And they came unto the opposite. They came unto opposite the cities of the plain against Sodom, and they dwelt there. Okay, so we got. A lot of action going on from Shem. All right. So Shem's children, uh, Asher children, son of Shem, he went forth with a large body and went to a distant land that they found. So this is starting to tell us something interesting. They went to a place where nobody else was. Here it say, remember in Genesis 10.10, 10, the beginning of his kingdom, meaning Nimrod, was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna, and the land of Shinar. Now, that's separate. 
Now, out of that land, out and away from the land of Shinar. Now, if we go to the map, this is where it gets pretty interesting. Now, if I find it, oh. So we have the zones of migration map. This would be a good one to look at. We get this open another page. Now, when we are looking at this, we know that they go to the east. We know that they fought over the islands. They went to the islands and won. They kicked Javan out of the islands. They kicked Jafeth out of the islands. Now, it says opposite that they went to what? They, they, they went to the land of Shinar. Today they call that China. Now it's going to say, if we look at a regular map now, now this is where it gets interesting. When we look at a regular map, it's going to show us, well, I guess we want that Southeast Asia map, don't we? Yeah, let's do that one. Now, if they say, that Japheth got kicked out of this land and he went out of India and he went into the Caucasus Mountains and all of Europe. It just said some unique words here. It said that they went to a place, right? They went forth out of that land, right? And so it was, we could say they went to Europe or something like that. But in chapter 10, is say they went to a distant land that they found so that is to say there's no other sons of noah that went to this land so if the sons of japheth will come into the land of europe of Eastern Asia, then where did Asher go that would be so distant and nobody's there that they would claim it as that they found? Remember, everything before this was Ham and Japheth are fighting. Here's where Ham went, here's where, where Japheth went. Now they're saying, go ahead. Yeah, I know, in my opinion, everything is pointing that Asher came over here. And if we move backwards, in my opinion, from how we just read 10, if you go back to Joshua chapter 7 now, and you look back at it when it says Nimrod found the um, place opposite, this is, this is before Babel. 10 is after Babel. So if you go before Babel, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it just rechronicling. It looked like he went to the land with uh, Asher to, to build his city. And so, uh, pretty much, I just believe that uh, Asher and some of the Semitic kingdoms or, or places that's built over here, especially regarding like the Assyrian stuff, the the, um, the like the temples and all of that stuff, like the. The different cultures that, that just predate all of the stuff that they, they promote. And it's, it's just funny how you can't, they don't care about our safety for nothing else. And we can explore and do anything we want, but certain areas over here, we can't even walk through. We could climb Mount Everest, but you can't walk through the Grand Canyon. <laughs> right. right, for all we know, 
uh, the Grand Canyon, could be Egypt, it could be the, the, re the remainder of the Tower of Babel, for all we know. Uh, we have literally no idea, because we are deprived knowledge. We, 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 honestly, um, we have an Assyrian temple that was turned into a mall. That they they haven't demolished one bit of it. Don't forget they turned it to a tire shop first before they turned it to a mall. But the rule is, uh, uh, if you update it, you don't change one brick. <laughs> and, tire factory, my bad. Factory. Right, right, right. It's on screen now. You know, um. Again, it says they went to a what a very a distant land that they found. We know that there is a lot of places here. It doesn't it doesn't have to mean they went to the exact same place that anybody else does uh, did, right? And they met with a very extensive valley in the land that they went to. They built themselves four cities. Okay. Now, it's interesting because when we look over here, we have this in Los Angeles, and we have uh, we have Father Crespi's stuff, which would be Central America. So we have what they they say the Assyrian and the Akkadian empires, right? They're arguing that they're the same. They're they're near each other, or in 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 some of this stuff. So they went to a very far off land. So they didn't go to the place, and they found they didn't go to the place that Japheth went. So they didn't go to Europe. And they name these cities, and then it goes back to the other brother, Aram. Now, this brother, Aram, but Asher isn't in the same place. It, we, 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 we seem to agree with that. Now, again, I, I want to find the truth. Joe feels that uh, they came over here. I feel I can prove, you know, it, it, there's a lot of evidence to support his theory. You know, if he feels that Babylon is here, I want to find the truth. There's other people that believe Babylon is here. So we're open to interpretation, and we just want everything to be interpreted with, with, with some degree of some breadcrumbs so we can investigate on that end. If we always look at Babylon and type in uh, uh, Europe and Asia or Old World, and we're not really getting anything more than what they want us to see. I try some Asian languages, it brings up some results. There's another mind here, he brings up some things, and we'll see what those results will get for us. He says, hey man, they went to a far off place. It's unarguable. It don't seem like they in the same place that the other cities were built. And the in 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 and he brings up a great point that it's it's that there's not much to argue with here. It says in chapter seven, he was reigning according to his heart's desire having conquered all his enemy, and he advised his cities, uh, his, his counselors to build a city for his palace. And so they did, and they found a large valley opposite to the east. Now here's where it gets confusing. And everybody has the chance to view this however they want. Until we find the truth, all things are possible. Now, if they left these islands <coughs> and went <coughs> opposite the east, 
from the zones of migration map, Europe and Asia are in the West. If we go to the East, Southeast Asia map, they're fighting this war here. There's two ways to look at this. Opposite the east, they went a little to the west to China. Or they went opposite the east and they crossed the ocean and didn't chase Japheth. So with Joe's suggestion, we'll look at the America route for Babylon along the path. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to show some things that lead to us to believe the Assyrians and this group. Uh, what verse is that again? It's 32. A very large body of them went to a distant land. Now, Babylon, is uh, the tower has been built, the tower has fallen, and this action happens. Now we have Assyrian temples in America, and then we have the Book of Mormon. All right. So the Book of Mormon sits there and says, it is a religious text of the Latter-day Saint movement, which according to the Latter-day Saint theology, the book contains writings, so the book itself is not the writings. The book contains writings of ancient prophets. Now, you get what that says? Prophets prophesy, okay? Who live in, lived on the American continent from 600, what they're claiming, and during an interlude date blah, 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 unspecified to the time of the Tower of Babel. So technically, the Tower of Babel fell, and then a large body of people went to a distant land that they found, and they colonized it. That's, that's, the, fuck, that's the same story right here in, in Mormon. That's the same story we see in the Book of Jashir. You don't think the fucking colonizer, right, our, our oppressor, we're the colonizer, but we got oppressed by our slaves. You don't think our oppressor knows this? I know you don't want to bring it up just yet, Lex, but it's just think? funny because in that, in that, uh, in those uh, flags that I showed you, the first kingdom, conveniently, it says the date is from 600. A D current error. See, that's tomorrow. We we gonna tackle this because this this guy broke the cookie jar. He unraveled it all. Uh, they're all on the floor. You just gotta sift through the glass, right? This is it's good. This is a good thing. <laughs> and the Book of Mormon, right? They left. After Babel, sometime after Babel, we got our move on. This is the, this is the same people that's talked about in the book of Jashir. And then you have a controversy that Joseph Smith, well, he was in an engagement where he stole the book, right? Because they had Spalding's manuscript, Solomon Spalding's manuscript, right? And Solomon Spalding is telling us that, oh, Oh, once upon a time, we was digging in the mound, and we found these copper plates, and the copper plates told a story, and it said nothing about Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? See, here it is. They, they, say they don't want to tell you that they, they, Joseph Smith copied the, and added, now we go back to the Book of Mormon and, it, and we see it, it say, it tell you it contains, it doesn't say it is the ancient writings of the prophets, it contains. This, this is no different than the Bible. The Bible contains the Word of God. Yeah, a great portion of it is the Word of God, but then there's a bunch of blasphemous shit that mocks his law. 
bunch of blasphemous shit that mocks his law. Every law you can think of, it's just mocked by Christianity, the mockers. The children of the, the what, the prince of hell? No. <laughs> so, then we get in the Spalding manuscript, and right in from 1809. Now, again, man, they're telling you in the 1300s, the Mongols came over, and sometime after that, the Romans came over, and sometime after that, the Greeks came over, and sometime after that, black supremacy was there, and then sometime after that, black supremacy slaves overthrew them, and now you're in the middle of white supremacy. Again, this is fucking every 150 years is a changeover. I should I, I should dance to that every 150 years is a change. You you're not seeing it. <laughs> we at what one one twenty three right now, right? I mean, if you sit there and say the the the, the overthrow of black supremacy, I mean, you could say it's uh eighteen nineties ish, you know, eighteen ninety eight, you know, you know, most major recording of overthrow of government, man. Where white people overthrew their government, which well, if they're gonna put white, it mean the government was black. <laughs> the fucking guy, the teacher at Yale, teach this, but we ain't got that Yale kind of money. Could you imagine your parents pay some fucking high ass tuition for you to go and watch this man teach you that uh, black people used to be in control and rule over you, right? As he's smiling, everybody then starts to smile and say, well, we ain't that way today. Okay? And then they sit there pleased with their hand. While, while, while the nine to five guy doesn't experience that, he just experiences the propaganda of racism. I have never been in public where somebody just started calling somebody a nigga or honky. I'm sure it happens. I just I just haven't seen it for myself. That that don't mean I'm inviting it, and I'm just saying. And the only thing that we can see that is the prophecy out of their goddamn mouth is the words of Benjamin Franklin. We're going to turn this motherfucker into a marble, a glass marble. We're going to turn this motherfucking jungle out. The axe rose. Welcome to the jungle. We chopped it all down. Now the jungle is the streets. And the parks in between. Everybody got their own little private wilderness. Right? Yeah. Spalding worked on the historical fiction about a Roman discovery of the Americas. So let, let's, let, well, damn, let's go back to the statue. Where is the statue of Nebu Chad in his ear? And what keep on coming up each time? And the legs of iron was Rome. So we just left the era of Rome ruling. He found the manuscripts. And here, here we have the feet. There's what? The iron and the clay. That's Rome, the divided nations of Europe. And that's the what? The Miri clay and the what? And the Grecians which would be the Latins as well. And you see how they, the, they went from Babylon to, you got to stop believing they time bullshit. They went from Babylon to Medes and Persians together, holding hands, right? Then to Greece, and then to Rome, and back to Greece and Rome and the what the, the ten barbarian tribes barbarian tribes it, 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 we are being like four thousand years right and this is this is what they do it 
They throw it in your face all the time with the thousand mile song. Why everybody got a different version of a thousand mile song? It's not a thousand miles, a thousand years. One thousand years from the stop the from the tower, the statue, excuse me, the statue being built. And that would be a, a, a little a little bit of more times from what? Before well, Babylon right there, right? So that goes back to, to Nimrod who we're reading about. And then they just survived the flood. So it's the flood plus 600 and then the statue built in a thousand years from the statue. But they're corrupting time. They want you to believe it's 4,000 years since the, it's been the flood. Make them think they've gotten away from the covenants the Most High has made with their nations. Yet their nation fucking ruling you right now. All Afro people just left being called Negro. See, here's what's fucked up. You type in Negro and then type in islands and they show you the different Negro islands. Now they don't want to call you Negro, so you so you disassociate yourself from the Negro Islands and the Negro Mountains. Now they didn't change the name from the Negro Mountains. They got Negro Mountains in America on, on the East Coast in Massachusetts. They got Negro Mountain in the West Coast in Arizona. Now they call that Knife Mountain. They got Negro Heads in a uh, in, 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 in Negro Head Mountain in fucking uh, Canada. They got Omega Heads. All these uh, uh, landmarks that say Negro, Negro, Negro. Negro Himalaya Islands. Now they say, no, 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 the whole worldwide call these people black. Another generation done passed. Now, now worldwide. Call these people all Africans. We're gonna have we gonna have a goddamn raffle. We're gonna have a word raffle. We wanna okay. We gonna it's, a, it's gonna be a lottery. Okay. Now here's what it is. We gonna guess what the, what is the next buy word they gonna call us? <laughs> Dot com. Oh shit. Oh god. We, 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 come on, we, come on, people. We put it down in the comments. What do you think the next buy word is going to be for us? Huh? We're running out of steam here. They done, they done, we done, we done been regressed to, 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 to from tribal names, uh, to, 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 from nation names. Uh, we done individual family names. Uh, fucking, right? Uh, I, I, I guess, I'm guessing, I'm guessing 2158B, B1385. That's going to be the, 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 the new. <laughs> I'm, that's my guess. All right. So Solomon found this shit in Oberlin, Ohio. And he, he's like, this is about Roman, Rome discovered the Americas, right? So. Hey, as soon as Rome discovered America, the Greeks would say, this is a good time to fucking stab them in the back, right? And somehow they extended and kept it all together, huh? Uh, right? But Rome's in it too, right? Yeah. What is all these Roman names all over Georgia? Augustus, Georgia. Right? I go down the list. Yeah, Rome, Georgia. Rome. <laughs> right? I myself yeah, have. Athens, you got Athens, Georgia, and a whole bunch. I, I've said it before. I have all these people in my family with these Greek and fucking Roman names. Oh my goodness. I got Athena as a cousin on one side. I got Helen on one side as a, as, as an aunt. Uh, uh, so many different names. Like I got, oh man, uh, Remus, Uncle Remus and Uncle Rome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you all. They're unbelievable names. I got an Aunt Paulette. They was drinking in this New Testament. They drunk this shit like it was. 
Yeah, unbelievable names in my family, man. Unbelievable names, man. <clears throat> Andreas. <clears throat> all kinds of this. I'm named Alexander of all damn names, right? Whew. So, an unfinished manuscript of this work exists. It's called the Overland Manuscripts or the Honolulu Manuscript. Now, why would it be called the Honolulu? I don't know. It is a historical romance purporting to have been translated from Latin on found on 24 rolls of parchment in a cave on the banks of Conneaut Creek. It tells of a Roman ship which discovers America. The text of the Overland Manuscript was published by the Reorganized Church of the Latter-day Saints in 1855 and by the Church, right, the church of the Fraud. And now this was the whole problem is because the whole book of the Latter-day Saints, or that we call the Book of Mormon, is part of the scrolls that was found in the Oberlin Hill. Now here he finds these on the banks of the river, and then another manuscript was found on a hill that was an actual mound that they built a house on top of. I'm sorry. But now this is unique because this further shows that this story that we're reading about of history joined with the Book of Mormon, which is actually the Oberlin manuscripts found all over Oberlin, Fair Ohio, use. on the banks of the river and on land. And this connects to Chief Joseph's, and Joe brought this up, uh, Chief Joseph's cuneiform is a Syrian cuneiform ta uh, 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 tablet. And then Joe brought this up. Go ahead, Joe. The Georgia font. Yeah, and that, uh, they found the other receipt uh, of the, the purchase or the same thing that T. Joseph was saying his tablet was inscribed saying about the, the, the purchase of, I believe, of some ring or, or lamb or something like that. And they found the other tablet in Georgia. Here it is on screen, 7th century. That's where they want to play with the, the Fair dates. use. Uh, inscription found in Georgia may rewrite history. Okay. So working on the ancient site of Graylick Liani Hill in Georgia, they have found inscriptions that date back 2,700 years ago. But again, once we start kicking up all this dirt about, ooh, here's, they took the, 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 the records of Jerusalem to, it should be at that time, it should be Istanbul. You know, they're, they're cheating us. Because again, that's happening in the year 18 something. Which means from their history, they should have these records for over 2,000 years and they just translated them, which doesn't make sense. But if you sit there and say Jerusalem fell sometime in the 1700s or and they got them to, to the, in the 1800s or Jerusalem fell in the 1800s, then it starts to make sense. When you sit there and say, when you go to find the history of the book of Jashir, and they say the book of Jashir, uh, oh, they found this 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 guy that they're saying is a forgery forger. He had the book, and you know, you know, when you go to find these other books, you know, and, and then they start telling you, well, we believe this because of these other translations. And it seems that if the Assyrians are here. And the Assyrians were the last ones to deal with the Israelites and took them all and brought them to America. And then they would have everything that the Israelites had when they were building the, two, the new temple and after they built the second temple. All that stuff would have been brought here then. 
So it's not until they conquer these places and then translate it back into Latin and then translate it into, into and then this is why they're saying, oh, we found uh, an Armenian version or this version or that they didn't find any. They, 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 they got them from here and they copied them in another language and released them into public claiming that they've been found at monasteries and shit like that. Cause it's, it's, and, and this is the reason why they want us lined up in these cities. You gotta think about that. As much people as it is in America, we don't even utilize like more than eighty percent. We don't even utilize majority of the land. I just say it like that. Yeah. Majority of the land is not being used. Like, right. They got us in in cities, like in pockets and sections, and the cities line to each other. Like that right. we don't. It's a big part of this is just wilderness still like technically they're outside of each other's blast radius every city is like 200 miles from each other to every major one right it's 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 a bit of distance between each one you go to the google maps and you look at the expressways and every city has a web around it right it's kind of yeah man so He's right, man. And then it's all these places in between that they call these national monuments in there or national parks, and they put reservations around it, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, man, think about this. Like you just said, the dude found all of this stuff exploring in Ohio. Yeah. Like, one thing, a lot of people distracted, and a lot of people just willing to explore as, as once before. And then another thing is, just like you said, all of the, the way the cities is, everybody got, everybody's comfortable and they, they, they love convenience. So yeah. it ain't convenient to go out to outside the city and just find something, even if it's just right there. But the people ain't, you know, stop. Oh, stop you see, that's the key to it. See, it's right there. You got to give you shit to distract you. See, man has an inherent like designed to search out and, and explore how else would it be fill uh, uh replenish the earth right why wouldn't you just keep over populating and just like 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 a one big giant ant hive right because the, the, the type of personalities right there's only you know, there can only be one big right right one big dog on this block one big fish type shit you know, so people got to go out and what is, what is, is it? let them spread his wings. They got to go out and spread their wings and stuff, right? If you want something and somebody's claimed it all, the here's and there's it, you want, you know, yeah, how do you make your name in this or do this? This is what we're reading about, right? This is the importance of all this stuff. These people's names are engraved in these cities, engraved in these regions, right? And so, like, we ain't been living that long. That we ain't calling the name of these places is fucking what their ancestors were. And some of the names is not that far removed, so and some of the names are still there. So it couldn't have been that long ago to where well, I, don't know. Know. I said a, a lot of the names are still um recognizable and some of the names are still like uh, associated with different lands. Right. And and so that stuff couldn't have been so far back because even certain things, it's like the last generation would have dug the shit up. Yeah, and then it's like it stuff evolved from certain things. So unless it's like it's so it's so hard, it's kind of hard to explain. But if it was further away in the past, it would we would be further away from the need. Like we would be further away from these things. It would be further harder for us to recognize this stuff. Like just naturally. Right. That's why I keep going see that's why I keep saying here here is the rule of measure. Everybody's a liar. The most high is not a liar. The rule of measure is gonna be the statue, the gold, the silver, the brass, the iron, the iron, clay and stone all right think about this as types of buildings well you know when they they're telling you uh, the these different empires um are, are are being based off this right so you can see the babylonian style is the double gate the persian style uh we'll get back to the persian style the Grecian style is the pillars. The Roman style is the decoration with the pillars. 
now we have this 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 fusion of them now what is the persian style that's the hershey kiss style on top now that's been we we it's it's it, it got to persia meads now we see the meads are still in control of that stuff and they've been left in the places that they had their empires now if we dig in the ground we're going to find Babylonian stuff, presumably. We're going to find Grecian stuff. Uh, excuse me. We just go backwards. We just go backwards. We dig in the ground. We live in the era of the divided nation of the Roman, Grecian, and the barbarians. We go backwards uh, uh, from this, and we're digging in the ground. We're going to find Roman stuff first. We go backwards from this. These are world empires. We're going to find Grecian stuff next. We go backwards from this, we're going to find Persian. We're, backwards from this, we're going to find Babylonian. Here's the problem. Most of these peoples never came here. We're just reading in the 1800s, somebody, somebody discovered the writings that verify, because they're writing in what? Latin. Who was the last person in control of the world at that time? Greece. It moved to Rome. This was during the time of the Roman Empire. That would be a worldwide empire. They got as far as America. That is the evidence of worldwide empire. That means they controlled China. That doesn't, no matter what Chinese people say, this is what God say. It's the statue is evidence. Now, we, all these things that we find, what do we find? We find only thing we find here is what Egyptian shit and Roman Assyrian. shit, huh? Assyrian. Mm -hmm. You heard him. Go back, right back to the, it's called the Citadel. We go to Father Crespi's collection. Right? Father Crespi's cave. It's not Father Crespi's cave. It's the cave of the giants. Yet, Father Crespi has what? He's acquired more than 50,000 artifacts or objects, and a great portion of those have Assyrian images. So, how many Assyrian artifacts have they found in the old world? So I think we can we can we can we can solidify the statements that 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 he's brought here you know and and, and I think this is great because this see this was brought up after what the 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 the, the, the path he started laying yesterday so so we 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 going unleash Joseph on these 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 books and these words and and see where what he got to show us. So we reached around two hours. I think. I think we're gonna stop here and 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 we're gonna pick up on the flags, and and the creation part again, uh, the creation wiki, because that's going to. Uh, That's going to solidify all this. You know, it's going to show why why we have the flag that we have. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, man. Oh, I hit my head. Oh, dizzy. So, uh, I think we're going to leave it here, everybody. I hope uh, you can see where, where this is all going. Um, the world's not how it is depicted to us. We're, we've been lied to on a lot of different fronts. I've explained it uh, the way I see it a few times, and it doesn't all line up. Uh, we have to use more eyes. I and mean, you know, we get Joe involved. You know, he just, again, ha half the shit I, I done recorded in the past has been solved you know, or corrected.
you know, or, or another way to look at it is some of the things I've taught in the past have not been true. Um, you know, I, I thought I was doing my end and, and, and it doesn't always add up. And especially uh, when I sit there and make video, videos saying, oh, the Maori are, are Canaanites and this and that. And it turns out, you know, they're like, oh, no, 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 these guys are just fast. You know, it, like I said, a lot of us are dealing with the information that sits in front of us. And sometimes we get excited or full of ourselves and we might take the easy way. We might think we have it and what pops up first is, ooh, this is it, this is it, this has got to be it, let's broadcast. And it's not always that way. And so again, I don't mean to deceive anybody. And I don't mean to put people in categories they shouldn't be, but I've, I've clearly recorded myself doing that from time to time. My apologies to those who were misled by uh, times I've been misled. You know, I'm dealing with information and I want to find the truth. So it's good to have Joe here to be able to say, I see something differently. Or, or I want to show something different. And I hope other people take this in mind. There's some things we can't budge on, but we have to pick and choose if we want relationships to last. Anything you want to add? Subtract? Divide? Yeah, I do, I do want to add a couple of things. Um, I do want to uh, humbly say, like, um, like, like to point out that I'm like kind of well versed in the law and stuff like that. Um, and the law, like he like to point out, the titles have been restored, and the people to the land can restore the land and rebuild the temple. Think about some of the stuff that's being presented today. We can go again. We can we can go climb Mount Everest, but we can't explore most of the the wildernesses of America. Um, if if we were just to explore and find the land or find something that we did, why do you think they want to keep us in these cities to not explore this stuff, to not see what's going on? Like sometimes we just gotta think outside the box. And sometimes the box is the city. Great point. You, yeah, when they say the wilderness has been vandalized and they spray painting stuff on, you know, that's not melanated people. <laughs> it's, you know, for the most part, a lot of us don't leave the city, man. You know, great point. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nah, that that's all praise is most high. No, Shalom in everybody. All right, everybody. Look, I really appreciate everybody being here. Um, thank you all for joining. I hope you all are well. May the most high bless you, and of course, take the time to bless him. See you on the next one. Because Barbaric was not a living being, he was a robot with artificial intelligence. This is why the art. Omitted this detail. The name Barbaric itself points out that he's not human. It comes from the Sanskrit word Barbara, which means inhuman, which is also related to the English word barbaric as well. The English word barbaric originally means inhuman, one who does not understand human thoughts and emotions. Okay, now. Dot com. I left out some important information, but that is the gist of it.
Hey, welcome back to Screen Crush. I'm Ryan Airy, and I want to dive a little bit deeper into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, we've made some pretty great theory videos, broken down the ending, talked about the Easter eggs, but now I want to really get into what this movie really means and what it's trying to say. The movie is filled with big ideas like utopianism, eugenics, religion, genesis, deism, creationism, trauma, and we're going to unpack all of that. But the theme of the movie, the one thing that unites all of these elements is empathy. James Gunn even spelled this out in a tweet, saying, at the end of the day, this is a movie about joy and compassion and learning to see beyond the rim of our own worlds and having empathy for all living things. Or what does empathy even mean? Well, it means to understand and share the feelings of another. In other words, it's the ability to see the world from someone else's point of view. Empathy is the... This is why the author omitted this detail. The name Barbary itself points out that she's not human. It comes from the Sanskrit word Barbara, which means inhuman which is also related to the English word barbaric as well. The English word barbaric originally means inhuman, one who does not understand human thoughts and emotions. Inhumane. Okay, now. So, isn't it weird? You gotta have this, this movie teach the generation for several generations. Empathy. These are the same children of the fathers that were the children of the fathers that were the, that slaughtered our people. Okay. Shall I? 